Welcome to the Mr. Boxing Guru Podcast. Again, it is me, Mr. Boxing Guru. Again, thank you guys for tuning in. Of course, that great music you heard was from Los Anaya. Always giving their shameless plug. Um, they start with me. They end with me on the podcast. So kudos to them. A lot of boxing to talk about. Not so much in, in, in different fights, but, man, we had a we had a good good fight this weekend that, that I, I think a lot of people are going to remember. So we're going to talk about that. Um, so let's get to it, man, because this year has been a bit... <laughs> It's, it's been a great one, in my opinion, for boxing. It, it's been one of those years that where we get fun fights because I, I believe the financial ability for these these, these uh, matchmakers and promoters and whatnot is there to do, um, or is there to use, I'm sorry. And, and, and that's, that's what's been going on, um, which, again, if money was an issue in the past, now it really shouldn't for uh, over marination when it comes to fights. So let's talk about in the let's talk about the elephant in the room and no pun intended to my man Andy uh, uh, Reese. Again, like I said earlier, this is the year of the upset. I mean, we see we saw fights like Cancio versus uh, Machado, where where Cancio where Cancio was uh, was taken in there as an opponent, and, and next thing you know, it, it ended the fight ended in dramatic uh, fashion by Cancio stopping Machado. We saw Williams. But he heard again another another guy that we all thought was going to get beat, and most of us did think Williams was going to get beat, and 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 that's the opposite of what happened. He, we saw Williams beat hurt to the punch practically the whole fight. Um, what other one comes to mind? Again, let's just, just this past weekend, not this weekend, but the prior weekend on on ESPN, we saw Herring uh, over Judge Ito. Ito was the, the 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 guy that a lot of the hardcore boxing fans thought was going to just walk over. Uh, uh, Jamel and and that didn't happen and and this weekend Anthony Joshua gets stopped the what was it three time uh, champ Anthony Joshua gets stopped by the little chubby kid from from Southern California and and Andy Ruiz now to say that I'm shocked I, I think it's 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 underestimating it. I'm not gonna be that guy that said, "Yeah, viva Mexico, we did it, we, 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 this, we, that." No, no, that's not what I said in the beginning. I said, I said this is, and I and I and I mentioned it before, and and on Twitter, I believe I said, "Don't let patriotism uh, get away of, of of you being a good fight expert." And I did say with a chip on my shoulder, because guys like. Andy Ruiz do not beat guys like Anthony Joshua. It, it just doesn't make sense. And I'm not just saying because of physique. Uh, I'm just saying because the type of fighters that they are. It just again and and and, and like like Wilder says to this day, it still doesn't make sense. How is a guy that that that's 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 a legit Olympian? And I get it. Uh, the amateur pedigree goes in a way. To Andy Reese because Andy Reese has been fighting since he was a little kid. But the fact of the matter is, Olympic pedigree is a whole different monster, and that is one thing that, that in my opinion, a guy like Anthony Joshua has a bit better than, 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 than Reese. Um, yes, we could talk about the condition, but I mean, I, I know I've been able to see, I've been able to see, um, Andy, uh, work out in the gym, and I think his physique doesn't doesn't tell the story behind the monster that he is uh, when it comes to putting in that gym work. Um, so, again, I am literally mind-fucked by what I saw on Saturday. And, again, I don't mind eating crow. I, 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 I'm I, not the, one, of, one of those guys that will be like, oh, yeah, you know, I always got to get it right. No, absolutely not. That's When you don't get it right, I think I'm almost happier because what, what I was expecting or what was expected – isn't necessarily what happened. What happened here was something special on Saturday. We actually saw a, a, a local California kid be crowned as, as a heavyweight champion. Somebody that looks like me, that's built like me. And that should serve as inspiration as, dude, I like, I'll give you an example. Me, I've been struggling with weight loss my whole life. And, and, and nobody's fault but my own. But this guy is built like, like me. He's built like a fucking ogre. 
like just like I am, pichi vatos nalgado. That's me. I I am Andy Reese to a certain extent. But this guy showed you that that don't let these muscle dudes fool you. Don't let these dudes that think they're 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 better than you fool you. You can't become the 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 heavyweight champion again. Again, not one belt. He not two belts. He won three belts this weekend, and he didn't. He landed a lucky punch. He systematically broke Anthony Joshua down. Um, my me going into this fight, the the, the first thing I said was, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, um, he's he's a superior athlete. Anthony Joshua is. He's gonna work behind his jab, and and, and that's gonna be his key to victory because, you know, like we all know, uh, um, uh, Andy Andy Reese is is in a. Uh, isn't as big as stature, so he's he's he has height against him, he has reach against him. So so Joshua's gonna be able to you know just pepper him, pepper him, pepper him, and ended him and ending up finishing him in a couple of rounds. Um, the first round happened uh, just as planned. I was you know smirking like a little smart as yeah yeah that's exactly what was gonna happen. So second round same thing. Third round uh, Andy started getting a little closer by him getting a little closer. Uh, Joshua started landing those those big right hands, and it, and again and then again and he drops them. Then what happens after that? You get a little, you kind of fall in love with your power. You try to go go after the kill like like most fighters would, and and that's when Anthony Joshua went into danger. He, he was able to. He was not able, but he was, he got caught. He went into those alligator hands that 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 Andy Reese has, and and and, and was. And close enough range to get clipped, and that's exactly what happened. He got hit in the back of his ear, and 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 again, not not, not that it was illegal or anything like that, but that that's exactly what happened. And after that, he was he wasn't able to 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 recuperate from it. And not only that, but I, I, it, to me, it was a bit crazy how how Andy Reese just stood there and and. He didn't decide to do the same thing that that Anthony Joshua did. Again, this is a big stage. It's one of those. Th- I think he uh, Andy Reid has only been in that stage once, and I think I, I can't remember off the top of my head his opponent. But he, that's uh, the last time he had fought for 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 a belt. I think it was Parker. Um, but he he remained composed when he dropped him, and and he started stalking him. He kept putting pressure on him. Pressure again. This was a very tired. Anthony Joshua, and again, I think the fourth round was was pretty much a, a Joshua trying to get his legs back, and then it happened. He landed that same punch. He ended up getting rid of the, 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 the Adonis, the, the the guy that's built with a with a chisel out of rock, and and he was able to stop him. So, in my opinion, what what happened? I mean, because. Again, his training. We we said about about uh, Andy Reeves. We know that it's, it's it's one of the best. He trains like a monster. I've seen him train. And and, and while I'm at it, credit to his real trainer. I mean, uh, Edgar Rejaso, I mean Estrellita. I remember going to see him at the gym when when it was Andy by himself and Estrellita always working. I always saw them work together. So, so there's a. a, a unsung hero here it is Estrellita he he I, I would see him putting in all that work I, I know Manny Robles is his trainer but in my opinion the one that deserves the credit as far as the training goes here is Estrellita um but yeah it just guys like Andy Rees are not supposed to to beat guys like Anthony Joshua so so you guys dream big dream huge because he said boy <laughs> But, but let, 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 let's talk about a little bit about, about what actually happened in the fight. Or what happened in the aftermath, you know, because let's be honest, we're all dicks. We all, you know, post the memes of, of you know, the little fat kid from up and, and oh, this guy's going to be too fat to be able to beat this guy. And and even after the fight, um, I think from a lot of people, including celebrities and whatnot, gave congratulated Andy because it, it is a, a, a rocky like story, it is a guy that's not supposed to win that's brought in as an opponent uh, because somebody tested positive for, for you know, the, the left, the, the last aisle at CVS, all the pharmaceuticals that that, that big baby had was, was ridiculous. 
but he was the last minute replacement. He had just fought what what six seven weeks ago, um, and 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 he became the champion of the world. So let's talk about a little bit about what happened because we tend to say that that Joshua again is maybe might have not been experienced, but was he was it really too much? Because you hear all the rumors. I mean, you heard that he he had a panic attack or something. Something happened where where he was he might have been freaked out, but I mean this is the same guy that that that's been fighting for what um, I mean in front of what eighty thousand people, ninety thousand people, seventy thousand people. I mean this is a guy that consistently does great numbers. Yeah, I get it. His man in the square garden is New York. It's it's out of his home country, but he's used to this this big spotlight. So it looked like. Like he was fighting at, at Belasco uh, compared to the, the, the crowds he takes in, in his home country, in the UK. Um, the, again, and I don't want to discredit a guy like 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 Andy Reese, but was is it true that the guy was concussed? Uh, I mean, uh, or he got knocked out a week before? Is that what happened? Did. The walk into the to the ring, the, the all, all the 17, uh, 17 national anthems that they played, did that play a role into it? Did, did it? did it just take too much off of it? He looked, to me, and, and that goes for both of them. They didn't even look. It almost it almost seems like the show, it was too much show before the fight. And, and, and in my opinion, Anthony looked, looked, just looked flat. Didn't look like. I don't know. It almost didn't seem like he was there, even in, as much as he tried in his post-fight interview or, or the little bit that he that he did. He just seems like he was very. I don't know. I, I, one thing is being humble. The other one is is just, it's just not giving a fuck. And it almost seems like he just didn't give a fuck. Um. So th- there's. I don't know. Again, this is Andy's week. This is the. This was Andy's night. Let's not take that away from him, but let's not let's not look the other way and say something didn't seem right with this kid, uh, Anthony Joshua. Again, Andy deserves all the accolades in the world. He deserves every piece of snicker bar that he could possibly get his hands on. Um, but something was definitely not there. Um, what was there was, was Stephen A. Smith's comments, um, calling him a butterbean and whatnot. Yeah, I get it. He's a big guy, but... And, and, and I get it from an internet troll saying something like that, but dude, you work for ESPN. You need to shut the fuck up every once in a while. I mean, at least... Look, man, I, I'm not saying he needs to chill, but the, the Mexican fans are a little little different. Stephen A. Smith, I, I really hope these fucking cholos don't end up beating your ass because he's talking shit about, about, about a kid just because his physique's not there, just because it's not impressive to you, just because you didn't get the fight that you wanted to see. On PBC does not mean that that this was in a great fight. This 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 story is still being talked about till this day. If Anthony Joshua would have won the fight, I, personally, I mean, again, it would have been as expected. Yeah, uh, everybody would have been okay. So he won. He beat. He beat a guy like Ruiz. So now what? So what? But that's not what happened. The theater of the unexpected was completely displayed, and that's we got a great, we got something to talk about. I, I mean, I was up till God knows what time in the morning because I honestly I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe Andy Ruiz beat a guy like Anthony Joshua. And I still don't believe it. I still don't. I, I've gone back and watched the fight. I don't know how many times. And I'm like, how did you let him get in? How did how did you? I didn't. Why did <laughs> again? How did you not keep him at the end of your jab? You know this kid could throw punches. Shouldn't have been such a dangerous fight, but Andy figured a way how to, you know, maneuver his head and try to put it, try to get as close to Anthony Joshua's chest as possible. Yes, it it it, it, it came because you know he got he ended up getting dropped, so uh, Joshua came became a bit more vulnerable. But at the end of the day, it came up. It it it, it happened. Again, a lot of people were saying, "Was this a?" a is this moment too big for Joshua again? I don't think so. I mean, you gotta you gotta see the the type of of of, of events that they do in the UK to to really have an answer for that. 
Was he focused? I don't know. You got to think about it. You, 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 you take a guy out. You take a guy out of, out of his element. Um, he's training for, for Big Baby Miller, which is, again, a guy formerly, form, I mean, he's about his size. And you're taking him away from that. And you're giving him a smaller guy, a guy that doesn't look the part. Do you really, are you really motivated to fight a guy like that looks like Andy Reese? Probably not. Again, he shouldn't have. He's a professional. He should prepare to the best of his ability. But psychologically, I mean, you're probably not going to train as much. You're probably going to train for a knockout. You're going to get all bulked up, and that's what he looked like. That's what I think Joshua looked like. I never seen him look that bulked up. Or maybe I'm just going a little crazy. But I, I never seen the guy that big, and he looked big. He looked like he was just everything was strength, and he was just there to knock this kid out. He looked winded. He looked bad. He looked like he had no type of energy anymore. So, I don't know. I mean, you saw the drama. I don't know if you, a lot of you guys saw it. I mean, Anthony Joshua's dad was screaming at Eddie Hearn. I don't know for what. The the, the only bad thing, in my opinion, that happened this weekend with, with this fight was that PBC now has all the belts. Now, hopefully, Anthony Joshua gets that rematch because, he, again, he deserves it. He, he worked a lot. I mean, not only on, on his boxing, but creating a boxing persona. Uh, creating a, a legitimate star, him and Eddie Hearn, and I hope they they give him that rematch that that and he exercised that rematch. Um, because I, I I still think it's a very winnable fight for Anthony Joshua. Um, because again we all know now that PBC if PBC has all the belts, they're not gonna make the fight with Anthony Anthony uh, Joshua and Andy Andy. I mean I'm sorry with Wilder and and Anthony Andy Reeves. I'm sorry. They're not going to make the fight. Came in to find a way to fuck this up and, and somehow over marinate it because that's exactly what he did with the with the other fight, with the Joshua Wilder fight. People are talking, oh, we didn't get the fight we wanted to see. No, we got exactly the fight we wanted to see. We got an exciting fight. But I get that the Anthony Joshua fight didn't happen uh, versus Wilder, but because that's because of over, over marination again. I'm not sad about it. On the contrary, I'm glad that this shit didn't happen. Let, let this shit be a, pro, a, a lesson to these promoters that over marination does not is never a good thing. I get it when you're trying to build the fighter, when you're trying to build uh, to put him on a, pay, a pay per view platform. But we 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 could deal without the pay per view platform now. The, the, there's the zone. There, there's ESPN Plus. I mean, the, the, there's these apps that are willing to pay you that large amount of money that you want just to fight that special fight. The money was there. I, I get, and and that's the thing you hear stupid talk from 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 Wilder saying that he was never a champ, this and that. But and if that was the case, why didn't you take the money and just whoop this guy's ass? If if that was that was something that you could have done, you should have just gone for it, got your hundred million, and moved on, gone back to PBC and fight, you know, once every blue moon. Over marination is some bullshit. Over marination is, is is something that should never be done in 2019, 2020. This isn't the time where you need pay per views or we need when our network only has a certain amount of money. The networks have money. ESPN has money. Let's put the right fights on and let, let us enjoy it. I mean, this is that's the whole purpose of having all these platforms. Use them to your advantage, not to fuck the fans over. Over marination is some bullshit. Now. What happens in the rematch? In the rematch, in my opinion, we get a great fight. Hopefully, it happens. If, if Anthony Joshua, there was nothing wrong with Anthony Joshua, and, and it's and it's no concussions like they say, no, the you know, the, the, again, all these excuses that they're coming out with, um, there's nothing like that. Then, then, then he's able to beat Andy Ruiz. But if, again, if if the better man that won this fight is able to do the same thing on this next one, then we get to to see a legitimate champion in Andrew Reeves. Not that he's not right now, but we get to crown the man again because he deserves it. This is what he's done. I really hope we get to see the fight again. I hope it doesn't get stilled out on, 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 on the on the PBC because they, they have a tendency of doing that. So, again, I hope it doesn't go that bad. Um... Um, but again, like always, I, 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 I ask folks, you know, your questions for, for, for the day. Um, I, I did post something on Instagram and, and I'm gonna try to do it on, 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 
on uh, Twitter and, and, and Facebook and whatnot. But I, I I ask folks to give me their feedback. What do they want to know? A lot of sometimes I skip stuff because I already talked about it in the podcast because I, I try not to look at the the, the questions. Uh, that way, you know, whatever answer I have is fresh in my mind. So let me grab my phone right quick. And let's see. First thing, let's see. The first one was Boxing Bros. What do I think about Andy Reese TKOing Joshua? And do you think the rematch has the same outcome? Again, uh, Boxing Bros. Big shout out to Boxing Bros. Says he does amazing at it. So kudos to him. Um, if there were issues with Anthony Joshua being concussed and, 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 and him not taking Andy serious, again, he, he turns around and gets his belt back and puts himself right back in, 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 in play where he originally was. Now, again, if all the, the stuff that we're hearing about is all bullshit, then we get we get the same thing. Look, again, we cannot take nothing away from Andrew Reese. He deserves every single accolade in the world. Um, and, and, and so be it. Uh, let's see who's next. Studio 805. Shout out to Studio 805. Hope everything is well, my man. Uh, he says, how many tune-ups fights does uh, Oscar Valdez need? Um, Oscar Valdez. Look. The thing is with Oscar, Oscar Valdez, in my opinion, what he went through is it's is, is, it's one of the scariest things a fighter can go through. You know, having a broken jaw, his teeth kicked in or whatever. Not kicked in, but, you know, pushed in. Um, that 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 was pretty pretty bad. And to come back, this was his first fight after a year. And he came, he came back with a new trainer. So, you know, he's adapting. He's getting acclimated to new attitudes, new new. New, new voice in this year. I really like the matching um, that they did. I, I like him being a, a Eddie Reynoso. With, with Eddie Reynoso, I'm sorry. So, as far as how many how many tune-ups does he need? Look, in my opinion, a guy like Valdez right now, he he could take as many tune-ups as you want. I, I don't know how the, how the, the, the jaw is going to react. I don't know if... If if it even... Uh, if it even healed right. I, if it... Or let's say it, it is healed right, but psychologically it might not be the same. He might not be the same fighter. So, again, who knows? Um, what I do know is that, again, he deserves to take all, all the tune-ups he possibly wants, man. He, he, he sure earned it with the, with, the, uh, uh, with the quick fight. Again, he, he, after the quick fight, he could do what he, what he wants. Uh, Kiko Valderas, shout out to my man Kiko Valderas. Um, he says, toca el tema de los cangrejos, what he says. He says, touch on the on the crab effect. Um, I think the crab effect uh, took place um, this weekend because, look, Mexican-Americans are only accepted in Mexico when it's very convenient to them. Um, Oscar De La Hoya was never considered a Mexican guy or a Mexican fighter, you know, at all. Oscar De La Hoya had to get a citizenship or dual citizenship, or, or whatever you call it, with, in Mexico, that way he could be considered the first Mexican middleweight champion Mexico ever had, a uh, national Mexico. And, and that's what he had to do. Um, Andy Ruiz, no one in the Mexican media paid attention. No one actually wrote a decent article about him. No one gave him a solid shot. No one even cared to... to, to to give the guy publicity because he's the California kid. He's not the Mexican kid uh, uh, to them. And now that Andy and Andy is a, the champion, now he's Mexican. Now they're claiming him as Mexican. So Mexico is Mexico's a big problem when it comes to that too. We're all, Mexican Americans are only Mexican when it's convenient to be Mexican. In my opinion, a lot of Mexican Americans are more Mexican than a lot of actual Mexicans because remember the guys, the people that came from Mexico, the the campesinos, the people that, that that work in the fields, the hardcore Mexicans. A lot of Mexicans that stayed are people that were well off. So Mexicans, you want to be Mexican, you you want to be the poor, of the poor, you want to see the cowboy. That's the Mexican. That's who came to the U.S. because they didn't have that education, they didn't have that opportunity that the other Mexicans had. So Mexicans from Mexico tend not to like Mexican Americans, and that is the crab effect that we only that we only we're only good to each other when it's convenient, and and even and even that when we do good we still try to shit on each other. So 
Like I, I'm guessing that's what Kiko's talking about. Uh, pound for pound, Vic and Cat. Do you think AJ? He asks. I'm sorry. Do you think AJ should switch trainers? Uh, and do you think people will lose interest in AJ uh, versus Wilder or Fury? Um, I I think the the this interest in that fight it, it's there right now. Nobody right now. I mean, we're, I'm talking about right now. If you talk to people, like oh, I don't want to see that shit no more. You know, Wilder's gonna knock his ass out, and, and he's finally gonna get that body that he's always dreaming about. What what has to happen is that it has to you have to rebuild. You have to rebuild. You have to either get those belts back or, or or let the belts go and rebuild yourself. That way, the pressure isn't there to fight in the top up op- fighting top opposition. You get to rebuild yourself. You get to see what actually uh, Anthony Joshua has. Again, we don't know. Um. I'm still interested in that fight. I want to see a guy like Anthony Joshua do good. Um, I hope he's able to to to, to rebound off of this. Look, and, I, and I've always said it. I don't care about a guy how many times he loses, how he loses. Anthony Joshua had a really bad loss. But that doesn't mean he can't come back. I see, you see many fighters come back. You see fighters get knocked out. You see fighters come back up. It happens. It's boxing. Half, you haven't seen these guys, how many times these guys get fucking dropped in the gym. It happens. These guys are not invincible. They can't have an off night. And I think this was Anthony Joshua's off night. Um, Aqua, Aqua Dios says, and this is this is a little weird. It says, what's your prediction for Mikey versus Danny? Uh, we're talking about that now, huh? If it happens, I saw a video of Mikey back uh, training with Snack. Um, and I, am I going to Mikey? Prom- I don't know if I'm going to Mikey promotion. I don't want to see him just spar. I mean, it, it is what it is. Um. One thing that that I will tell you is that um, it, it's 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 a tough fight in my opinion because the si- obviously we found out size does matter. Um, Danny Garcia is, a, is, is he's he's a pretty big, solid welterweight. That's that's what spends. Um, can he beat? Can he be? Can can Mikey Garcia beat? A guy like Danny Garcia, I, I, I think he can. Would it be tough? Yes. But I think a fight like that takes a lot. Of, he, I'm sorry. A fight like that takes a lot out of a fighter. And I would hate to see all that work that 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 uh, Mikey has done be thrown away. Yes, he could win. But how much of him is he going to leave in that ring fighting a bigger guy with like, like Mike Garcia? I would love to see... Uh, uh, I would love to see uh, Mike Garcia, you know, reign at 140. I think it's a, it's, it's a more adequate division for him. But, again, who knows? Uh, the Bully Squad. Again, my man, Bully Squad, one of the best boxing brains out there. It says, I'd rather see Canelo versus Smith at 168 than Canelo GG next. What's your take? Uh, man, Bully Squad, I think it's the first time I'm going to actually disagree with you. I think each fight. That Canelo GG has had, it's been, it's been different. It's almost like they're fighting two different fighters. Uh, I think, um, I really think that GG leaving Abel is bringing another, another throwing another wrench in, in the equation here, um, because now we might see a different uh, Triple G, a G that uses. Uh, uh, his size. I mean, we we all know the Emmanuel Stewart uh, uh, school was, you know, very um, used the jab a lot. I mean, finished off with the right hand a lot, but it, it was a little different than, than what able able try to implement on him. So I don't know. I'm I'm I'm, I'm I I would rather see. I would really want to see GG, and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, again, you guys know that's that's. Two, two of my favorite fighters right now, so um, um yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pumped for it. Um, Juice underscore Go says, "Will Andy beat AJ in the UK?" Um, again, I don't think the the place, or the venue, or the lights matter. I think you know if if the better man's gonna win each fight, and if they fight again, um, if there was really no no uh, uh, skeletons in in Joshua's closet, I think uh, Andy beats him again. Again, if it is an even playing field. Uh, and Sontel Boxing, he writes a whole bunch of stuff. He says, can you address the topic of people 
and even some media members claiming that Andy Ruiz is not Mexican. We went through this with Chavez Jr. versus Oscar De La Hoya. At the end of the day, Andy has the right to identify himself as a Mexican if he chooses, regardless where he's from, uh, whether he speaks Spanish or not. Uh, blah, 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 he's Mexican. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> he says, look, like, Mexicans are, 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 are a little different. And again, it, it, it depends where you grew up at. I think... Um, most first generation Mexicans uh, claim and, and, and identify themselves as Mexican because um, they're getting all their info from their parents. Yes, we go to school here in the U.S., but but we identify uh, as as a uh, as Mexican. That's what we eat. That's what we do. That's what we sing. That's how we love. That's how we care. That's how we drink. We're Mexicans through and through. I mean, whether people like it or not. Um, and I think it it is offensive for again for a lot of Mexicans to not accept us uh, as, as one. Where I think a lot of the stuff that we do, it's, it's a bit more Mexican than them. Um, Artelum asks, uh, "What's your take on boxing belt again?" Oh, you, you see, you got to hook me in. Look, I don't care for belts. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't give a shit about them. I think um, for the most part. They they deserve they they serve as a measuring stick, but for the most part, to me, I don't care. Like right now, Andy Ruiz is a three time champion. That that's big, I guess, in a way. But does it make him as a fighter? No. At the end of the day, he beat the shit out of uh, out of Anthony Joshua, and, and that's all that matters. Luke Casada says, "What do you think about the rumors of uh, AJ? It was not doing well again. I think we addressed this a, a bit earlier, Lou. Um, again." Who knows? Is it a, is it a cop out? Is it a cheap excuse? Who knows? That's why they fight the fight. I think if it if if it, if it was an issue, then we have a fight. Then we have a fight. Then we have a good fight. Then we have Anthony Joshua beating him. But for now, we really need to let and we need. We, I'm sorry. We really need to let Andy Reese enjoy his moment. He earned it. He earned that 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 care package from Snickers, and uh, that's all there is to it, guys. It was a pleasure. Thanks again for listening. Um, continue with the feedback. Continue watching it. It really, really means a lot. So thank you so much. This has been the Mr. Boxing Guru Podcast. Talk to you guys later. See you guys next week. See you on Facebook. Otros que se fue muy lejos